going to show you how to get set up with our advanced Google Tag Manager integration. By default, when you install it, it's just going to track views across the platform. Uh, but a tool like Google Analytics already does this. So we actually have some variables that we're going to pass in as a user navigates through the checkout process, which is going to be awesome here. So first off the bat, you're going to actually have to install that Tag Manager integration and it's going to ask for your container ID. And you'll see that here just when you log in. If you sometimes you log in, you might be on the account page. Um, you do need to navigate over to your container. So once that's set up, make sure you pull up the Google Tag Manager help article here, because we're going to have the variables here that we need to paste over and create into Google Tag Manager. So there's five of them here, and these are kind of like the various stages of checkout. And I'll actually go through them one at a time and show you them later once we add it. So first you would grab this um, first variable here and we're going to go into tag manager and down to variables and under user defined variables, we're going to add a new variable and it's super simple. You just give the title, the, the title of the variable here and it is a custom event. And so you would just hit save. You don't need to uh, edit any of this other information here. So once you set all five of these up, you're good to go. They don't have to be created in a certain order. None of that really matters here. So. What we're going to do, we're going to actually put this in preview mode. Google Tag Manager has this preview functionality where you can ideally see if I refresh this, there should be a panel at the bottom. Sometimes it's a little finicky. You might have to clear your cache. Sometimes you got to close your whole browser, but um, for the most part, it should work pretty well. So you'll see here these tags that are firing on the left here and page view is the key one that I mentioned there. That's always going to fire. It's always going to send in to Google Tag Manager, what page you're on when it loads. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and actually click on this video here. And our first kind of variable has been pushed here, which is view content. And you can see it actually grabs the name of the content and then pushes that into Google Tag Manager. And the next step, we're going to hit get access now. And no new tags are fired, but what we're going to, once we click on one of these options here, and just keep in mind here that sometimes scroll doesn't work when you have this thing on just because how the way that it loads tag manager is kind of weird loads it on top of the page so the next thing that fires here is initiate checkout and it gives you the title of the subscription that you purchased or the content um, or i should say i guess the if it's a one-time purchase it would say that and then the value and the currency that the person did that in so I'm going to create an account here and we should be on the next step, which is lead. So this, a, a lead has basically been created here in Google tag manager. That's been passed along. It is typically the same information here, but let's go ahead and actually purchase this and we'll just use grandma's credit card here. She won't care. complete. And so two things are going to quickly fire here. Add payment info is one of them. Um, but then the other one, <laughs> and it's kind of tricky because you couldn't really see it there for very long was, um, purchase. So add payment info and purchase both fire. Um, when you're making a second purchase, add payment info is not going to fire just because you typically have your credit card saved there. Um, but the purchase trigger will fire. Back in here, um, there's some examples here of kind of like what is all pushed there. But yeah, you would actually be able to see that information in Google Tag Manager if you're pushing it to another software, which is great. But it's going to give you information very similarly to how the lead worked with what was purchased and that kind of thing. So that's it for setting up the Google Tag Manager integration. Hopefully you can find some kind of cool ideas of things you can do with it. And good luck.